Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on software engineering uh, subject, uh, unit one, introduction to software engineering. Uh, we'll be looking about models. The next is evolutionary model. Software system evolves over time as requirements often change as development proceeds. Thus, a straight line to a complete and product is not possible. However, a limited version must be delivered to meet competitive pressure. Usually a set of uh, core product or system requirements is well understood, but the details and extension have yet to be defined. You need a process model that has been explicitly designed to accommodate a product that evolved over time. It is iterative that enables you to develop increasingly more complete version of the software. There are two types of uh, software like prototyping and spiral models. In terms of prototyping, when to use this kind of model, so customer defines a set of general objectives but does not identify detailed requirements for functions and features. A developer may be unsure of the efficiency of an algorithm, the, uh, the, the form that human-computer interaction should take place. And what step it begins with communication by meeting with stakeholders to define the objective, identify whatever requirements are known, outline areas where the further definition is mandatory, a quick plan for prototyping and modeling quick design occur. A quick de uh, design focuses on a representation of those aspects, the software that will be visible to end users, interface and output. Design leads to the construction of a prototype which will be deployed and evaluated. Stakeholders' comments uh, will be used to refine the requirements. Both stakeholders and software engineers uh, like the prototyping paradigm. Users get a feel for the actual system and developers get to build something immediately. However, engineers may uh, make compromises in order to get a prototype working quickly. The less than ideal choice may be adopted forever after you get used to it. This is one of an, uh, that is uh, the, oh, the flow of your prototyping model and evolutionary model, quick plan, modeling, quick design, construction of prototype, Deployment, delivery, and feedback, communication. Evolutionary models in terms of spiral. It couples the iterative nature of uh, prototyping with the controlled and systematic aspects of the waterfall model and is a risk-driven process model generator that is used to guide multi-stakeholder concurrent engineering of a software-intensive systems. Two main distinguishing features. One is cyclic approach for incrementally growing a system a degree of definition and implementation while decreasing its uh, degree of risk. The other is a set of anchor point milestones for ensuring stakeholder commitment to feasible and mutually satisfactory system solutions. A series of evolutionary releases are delivered during uh, the early iterations. The release might be a model or prototype. During later iterations, increasingly more complete version of the engineered system are produced. The first circuit in the clockwise direction might result in the product specification. Subsequent passes around the spiral might be used to develop a prototype and then progressively more sophisticated versions of the software. Each pass results in adjustments to the project plan. Cost and schedule are adjusted based on feedback. Also, the number of iterations will be adjusted by project manager. Good to develop large scale system as the software uh, evolves as the process progresses and risks should be understood and properly reacted to. Prototyping is used to reduce risk. However, it may be difficult to convince customers that, is, that it is controllable as it demands considerable risk assessment expertise. So this is a very popular sp spiral model which happens planning, modeling, construction, deployment and communication in different levels of iteration and it's quite successful in implementing in IT industry. Three concerns on evolutionary process in terms of prototyping and spiral. The first concern is that uh, prototyping poses a problem to project planning because of the uncertain number of cycles required to construct the product. Second, it does not establish the maximum speed of the evolution. If the evolution occurs too fast without a period of relaxation, it is certain that the process will fall in into chaos. On the other hand, if the speed is too slow, then the productivity could be affected. Third, software processes should be focused on flexibility and extensibility rather than on high quality. We should prioritize the speed of the development over uh, zero defects. Extending the development in order to reach high quality could result in a late delivery of the product when the opportunity reach has disappeared. 
the next is concurrent model it allows a software team to represent iterative and concurrent elements of any of the process models for example the modeling activity defined for this parallel model is accomplished by invoking one or more of the following action, actions prototyping analysis and design in the back figure what i'm going to show you like modeling may be in uh, any one of the states at any given time for example communication activity has completed its first iteration and in the waiting changes state the modeling activity was an inactive state now makes a transition into the under development state if customer integrates changes in requirements the modeling activity moves from the under development state into the awaiting changes state concurrent modeling is applicable to all types of software development and provides an accurate picture of the current state of the project rather than confining software engineering activities actions and tasks to a sequence of elements if defines a process network each activity action or task on the network exhibits simultaneously with other activities and actions and tasks events generated at one point trigger transitions amount is so this is one of an well known example uh, that is flow of the concurrent model so it works based on the stages so especially uh, each stage from the stage of communication planning modeling uh, coding and then deployment there may be a different stages like under development awaiting changes revision review baseline and done so based on these different uh, different stages each uh, process model stage can take under and thereby uh, once the changes have been adopted it will move from under development stage to the done stage there are still other process models like component based model formal models uh, aspect oriented software development unified process the process to apply when we use is a develop development objective like spiral model we term it to be a component based development formal methods emphasizes the mat mathematical specification of requirements which is easy to discover and eliminate ambiguity incompleteness and inconsistency aspect oriented software development provides a process and methodological approach for defining specifying designing and constructing aspects unified process a use case driven architecture centric iterative and incremental software process closely aligned with the unified modeling language to model and develop object oriented system iteratively and incrementally